their Algebra 2 Regions quick question walkthrough, and this one is on mortgage payments. Mortgage payments are usually on the Regions, and it is not one of the formulas you have to memorize included. They normally give it to you within the problem itself. I've included the letters off to the side myself just to organize the data that they give me, so I'm sure that I have all the variables that I need and the values for them to put into the equation. Question says, Jim is looking to buy a vacation home for $172,600 near his favorite southern beach. The formula to compute a mortgage payment M is, and then they give the formula, where P is the principal amount of the loan, R is the monthly interest rate, and N is the number of monthly payments. Jim's bank offers a monthly interest rate of 0.305% for a 15-year mortgage. With no down payment, determine Jim's mortgage payment rounded to the nearest dollar. Algebraically determine and state the down payment rounded to the nearest dollar that Jim needs to make in order for his mortgage payment to be $1,100. A few things going on here, but it looks like the first thing that I'm going to have to find is Jim's mortgage payment rounded to the nearest dollar. And then I'm going to be using that to find... It looks like he won't be able to make that payment, and we need to somehow make the payment to, to $1,100 and use that to determine the down payment he's going to have to make to come up with an $1,100 monthly payment. So I think the first thing I need to do is find out my variables that I have and start writing them out. Initially, it looks like I'm trying to find M, the mortgage payment. The second variable that I need is the principal. The principal is the amount of the loan. That one is given to me, it is $172,600. Next, I'm gonna need the monthly interest rate, and they give me that, it is 0.305%. That looks like it's in a decimal form, but it's not. I need to convert that percentage to a decimal, which is gonna be 0.00305. So I need the number of monthly payments, and the number of monthly payments is going to be every month for 15 years, which means 15 years times 12 months, which means 180 monthly payments. I'm going to put this information in my formula, so I get M equals 172,600 times 0.00305. Times 1 plus 0 0.00305 and that quantity to the 180th power over 1 plus 0 0.00305 to the 180th power minus 1. Next, I've just simplified. This, these two parts here to make them a little bit easier. So simplifying those two, I get M equals 172,600 times 0 0.00305 times 1.7300745 04 over 1.7300 minus 1. Subtracting 1 on the bottom, I get 172.600 times 0 0.00305 times 1.7300745.04. And then on the bottom, that becomes... 0 0.7300745.04. When I do the multiplication and then the division, I end up getting an answer of $1,247.49 and some change behind that. That actually does solve my first part of the problem, which was to determine Jim's monthly payment. I just need to round it to the nearest dollar. Rounding that answer to the nearest dollar gives me 
$1,247. The second part of the problem says I need to determine and state the down payment rounded to the nearest dollar that Jim Nate needs to make in order to make his mortgage payment be $1,100 a month. So apparently the $1,247 might, must be too much for him to do. So I now need to make sure that that M somehow works out to be $1,100. So I'm putting $1,100 in for my M. And I need to find out this time what his principal is going to be in order to get that. This point on, because I've already, I've already simplified that part, which didn't change. And then I'm just going to make that answer a P. So I'm going to fill in my information now with 0 0.00305, 1.0000. And then on the bottom is going to be 0 0.7300754. Miracle parts on the right side of the equation become P times 0 0.0072276558. And I'm just going to divide both sides by that so I can solve for my P. So I'm dividing this side by it, 722-76558, and my P then becomes 152,193.19. This is representing the principal amount of the loan that he would need to have an $1,100 payment. However, I'm going to need to subtract that from the actual cost of the house to find out how much his down payment is going to be because that's what the second part of the question is asking me. What is the down payment he's going to need? So I'm going to take my original cost of the house. I'm going to subtract my 152.193 from it. And I'm going to get an answer of... $20,406.80, but I need to round it to the nearest dollar, which means to the nearest dollar, the down payment that he would have to make to get the $1,100 mortgage payment per month would be $20,407. And I'm done with this answer.